Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Mikey G, and it's Saturday, April 29th. Tesla has lowered the price of its seven-seat third-row option for the popular Model Y to $3,000, down from $4,000 previously. The change is the latest among several recent price changes for Tesla as inventory reaches new highs. The two third-row seats aren't terribly large, but for families who often find themselves hauling a lot of kids, it could come in handy in a pinch. The Model Y's rear seats face forward, unlike the rear-facing seat option in the original Model S. The drop in the accessory price could just be a matter of normalizing supply costs for the parts involved, or some other transitory issue that cropped up in the past couple of months. But it certainly does add to the confusion of the price drops recently, which has been happening on a weekly basis. Right now, if you're curious, the 7-seat Model Y now sells for $53,000 in the U.S. A Tesla Model S was found on fire parked in the street in Spokane, Washington. The police first believed that it caught on fire all by itself due to a battery, but it turns out that it was arson. The car was able to record an individual walking up to the vehicle, dousing it in gasoline before lighting it on fire. This finally convinced the police force, who had already made their assumptions. Considering that the owner doesn't even live in Spokane, it appears that the attack was either totally random or just targeted towards an electric and or Tesla vehicle. Tesla Powerwalls are being deployed in a new low-income housing project in Scotland to test if they could help tackle what they call fuel poverty. When energy costs rise, as they have in Europe, it affects low-income families the most, as the now-soaring electricity bills represent a significant part of their budget. Now a new affordable housing development in North Lanarkshire, it's in the suburbs of Glasgow, they are testing a pilot project using power walls and solar panels to help. The solar panels will provide cheap electricity during the day, and the power walls will let the residents take advantage of that when the sun is not shining, which in Scotland might be a fair amount of time. The project, which is supported by the Scottish government, is expected to be completed by the end of the year. ARK Investments, arguably Tesla's biggest bull with a $2,000 price target on the stock, put together a weighted average prediction for Tesla and when they would launch their robo-taxi service. They are confident that Tesla will soon launch it, and the prediction is even in late of 2024. Now, of course, investors have a financial interest in hyping up the stock price, but they do have a model based on a simulation of the commercialization of Tesla's robo-taxi service. While this would certainly be a game-changing event and somewhat validate a few of Elon Musk's many claims, at the moment the beta program hasn't really instilled a lot of confidence in some drivers and some drivers on the electric team. Ford CEO Jim Farley is warning Tesla about product freshness as he believes Tesla electric cars are at risk of becoming commodities. Last summer, Farley accurately predicted a price war in the EV market that would come soon. He wasn't wrong, and now he's at it again, comparing what Tesla is doing now with what happened to Ford over 100 years ago when it became a mass producer of the car itself. The CEO believes that cutting costs and prices is only part of the equation to create demand, as he warns Elon Musk that if they focus only on that, they will have a problem with product freshness. This was outlined in a book that he mentioned about Ford's history from the year 1913. Daimler Truck North America announced EV charging infrastructure across the U.S. for medium and heavy-duty vehicles. The joint venture with Next Era Energy and BlackRock Alternatives will be called Green Lane and operate a U.S.-wide EV public charging station for both electric and hydrogen fuel cells. For obvious reasons, they will focus on electric charging infrastructure first before moving on. Details on the groundbreaking of the first site will be available soon. After being tossed around the industry for many years, the Saab brand is now free to share a secret project that they are working on, an electric sedan with impressive specs led by a massive battery. The vehicle was worked on by a team of about 350 engineers and technicians, developing it in the span of roughly 10 months. At the time of development, funding was pretty well up. However, the pandemic and the tumbling economy of China got in the way. But now that the owning company of Saab is defunct also, the rights for the sedan and the intellectual property are up for sale. And today I will leave you with an announcement. We had a baby girl this morning. She was born eight pounds, one ounce, very healthy and ready to be taken to a home full of love. And rest assured, like her big sister, taken home with 
an electric car. Thanks for watching Quick Charge. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a day almost as good as mine.